Up next, the two best friends who both got diplomas and are inspiring America. Two friends with each other every step of the way during their college adventure. Now both have diplomas to show for it. With more, here's Katie Beck. At Clarkson University's graduation, wearing a cap and gown he really didn't like so much, Griffin the Golden Retriever walked with his diploma. He attended every single class. He's the one who helped me get through school. Owner Brittany Hawley earned her master's degree in occupational therapy Saturday. She suffers with a chronic pain disorder and says Griffin got her to the finish line. He's really shy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really a very shy dog. <laughs> he was someone I could talk to about pain and not be judged. In addition to lending a floppy ear, lights. the trained That's service it. dog can turn That's lights it. off it. and on, get things out of the fridge, assist That's with it. a wheelchair, Fine. and follows a laser pointer to retrieve things like a cell That's phone it. in an emergency. If I need help, he's, he's got me because he loves me unconditionally. And speaking of love, Brittany is recently engaged. Griffin helped with that too. Her fiance works for the service dog agency where she got him. He represents independence and love. He gave me uh, the ability to live my life alone. But in life's small moments and big ones too, we're all better with a little help from our friends. Katie Beck, Elm City, North Carolina. Oh my goodness, what a great friend he is. Brittany is now in her job hunt and she's telling companies she and Griffin are a package deal. As Griffin walks across the stage of Clarkson University's graduation, by his side, 25-year-old Brittany Holly. The clip warming the hearts of everyone on campus, but it's just one small part of this incredible story. So he was with me from the very beginning all the way to the very end. That was out of necessity for Holly, who has used a wheelchair since she was 17. In high school, she was diagnosed with complex regional pain syndrome, a chronic painful condition. She eventually developed dystonia, robbing the former gymnast of her ability to walk. He is trained to help me retrieve Adams, picked up Adams when I drop it. He can open the fridge, he can get stuff out of the fridge, turn on lights, he can retrieve my wheelchair. Get the water. Holly initially applied for a service dog for her graduate studies after suffering through depression and anxiety her final year as an undergrad. So Griffin does help with getting me back into the community because I'm a homebody. I'd rather shut myself in the room and stay there. More importantly, Griffin senses pain flares before they arise, allowing Holly to prepare herself and get to a safe location. Wilmington-based Paws for People provided Holly with Griffin who's attended every class since she began at Clarkson. I was more excited about Griffin graduating than me. And if that wasn't enough, Holly met her now fiancé through Pause for People, with Griffin playing a starring role in the pup prosal. In Elm City, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. As soon as they put the cap on, Griffin shook it right off. Once in place, Griffin struck a pose. After all, it's his graduation day. Griffin is Brittany Hawley's service dog. They both got their master's in occupational therapy from New York's Clarkson University last week. But when he took the diploma, it made me so happy. Because if you watch the video, he looks at the photographer and is like, I'm on in this moment. This is my moment. Their journey here began two and a half years ago when Brittany was finishing up undergrad. I was very depressed. Um, I have a chronic pain condition and I was told I would not be able to walk across stage for undergrad. I could only use crutches and it made me depressed. After seeing her psychologist who had a service dog, Brittany applied for her own. They were hooked up through Paws for People. The organization raises, trains, and places assistance dogs with first responders, vets, and people living with disabilities. On the same day Brittany got her interview with Clarkson, she was accepted to Paws for People and would be notified she'd get to meet her dog in just a couple of months. So me and Griffin were in it together from the beginning. We moved to New York together, we went through school together, and we moved back to North Carolina together. He made going to school a lot easier for me because I had anxiety with people and going out by myself. 
and he opened doors that I would have never guessed would have been open. And because he too never missed a class and had to study hard, Brittany thought he earned this reward. I was so excited, so I pushed from day one when I walked in the school, I pushed for him to get a diploma. To me, it wasn't good enough for him just to walk across stage. I wanted him to get a diploma just because he did everything. We didn't miss a class. He went to everything I went to, and I thought he deserved it because I wouldn't have been ever to finish. That's not all the pair has to celebrate. Polly met her fiance through Pause for People. Um, we started talking soon after I got Griffin, and then he proposed using my dog um, in November. They're ready to start the next chapter. Again, thanks to Griffin.